Yo, what up everybody? I'm Soy Milk and welcome to the channel. Now, today I wanted to show you guys a build guide on what I like to do when I level up a druid from level 1 to level 50. Now, this is not like going to be one of those like super meta builds that, you know, that are going to get you through the game super super quick, but it's a build that's going to work and it's a build that's a little bit different than what you see. Now, if you're looking for a really super meta build i would really recommend you guys to go check out max roll um, maybe eventually i'll do like some meta builds from there and i'll talk to you guys about it here on this channel but for now this is what i wanted to show you guys here so um one tip if this is your first time playing diablo 4 i do not recommend you guys to follow a build guide when you're first leveling up the game is pretty damn easy at the beginning and it's a perfect time right at the beginning to try out different skills like Things are not very expensive at all to, to to refund. So, like at the beginning of the game, just go go ahead and try new skills and learn new things. See what skills like what skills look like and put some things together. And I'm sure you guys will have a fun time. And it's fun to experience it for the first time. If you follow a build guide the first time, you're gonna lose that feeling. This is not like Path of Exile where you should follow a build guide. It's Diablo Four, guys. So come on, like just just try it out but if you want to try something a little bit different then this is what i came up with so all right so what i wanted to do is i wanted to make let me just get out of my mount i wanted to make a build around transforming into a werewolf and transforming into a bear constantly all the time so what i did to do that to achieve that i right here so level one um you take claw you take enhanced claw and you take fierce claw the reason for this is you want the poison damage and i will come back to you why we need the poison damage later on so later as we go on we're going to get access to pulverize we're going to put a point here when it enhanced pulverize and primal pulverize this is great for damage reduction now um you're going to want to put five points into this that is 100 percent for sure when do you want to do that as you're leveling up do it whenever you guys want you don't have to follow a like a string of skills in a specific order just put points in it and it's going to equal out in the end so do it the way as you please and then later on we're going to get a point into predatory instinct for the increased crit chance when things are close and most importantly we're going to take this skill here which is going to level well which is going to give us more movement speed in our werewolf form which is perfect because we're going to be shifting into two forms now, should you go with the damage reduction of Iron Fur? Yes, this is actually a very good thing. If you're in, if you're in your Werebear form, you're going to take less damage. But don't forget that you're alternating between things. So keep that in mind. We're, then we're going to get to our defensive skills. Uh, I definitely would go for Blood Howl for the nice healing. This helps a lot. We're going to go for the Enhanced Blood Howl to reduce its cooldown. And we're going to go for the 20 plus spirit because this is going to help out in the end. We're just going to going to give us more spirit to pulverize even longer because the name of the game is to spam your core skills. Now, a lot of guides will tell you use preserve blood howl. This is absolutely a fantastic skill, but I find early on the 15% increased attack speed. I don't feel it as much. I know later on it's going to get better, but now I, I did. I decided not to do it right now, but I will spec out of it eventually. Uh, keep in mind that the attack speed is not just for the werewolf form. It's actually for the werebear and the werewolf. And the reason why I say werewolf because this is a werewolf skill. You could see it uh, just right underneath the blood howl text on the right over there. Then we're going to go on. We're going to get our companion skills. We're going to go with wolves. And that is going to be it. We do not take the... Usually a lot of people like to go here for the fortify. Or people, whenever whenever we create, increases their attack speed. I don't find their damage that high right now. Maybe with the new patch, things will get a little bit better. But for now, eh. Um, fortify is great, but we are going to be able to fortify all the time. And I'll explain to you why. Uh, Raven. Okay. One point in Raven. One point here. And then two Ravens. Now, the reason why we take this, I will explain to you later. But... For now, when you're first leveling up, do not put points into here. You're going to want to put points into Poison Creeper. Just literally, honestly, almost just one point is fine. This thing shreds at the beginning, and it's very, very powerful. 
early on. That, that's what I did to level up for a good chunk of it. Maybe to like level 30 or something until I got a certain legendary aspect. I'll get back to you guys with that a little bit later. And as we go on, we're going to get our wrath skills. Now for our wrath skills, we're going to want to get trample. We are going to want to get enhanced trample and then savage trample. Why do we go for Savage Trample? Well, for the 40 uh, Spirits, right? This is absolutely important. And I'll explain to you guys why. I have Blood Howl on the Spirit and Trample on the Spirit too. Let me explain. So let's say we are in combat yet. No. Okay, now we're in combat. So let's say I spend my things. Okay, I'm around here. My Spirit's pretty low. I will Trample and then I will Blood Howl and I'm already full. So just that little combo will fill me up right away. This is super practical early on because early on, well, it's kind of hard to um, to get a uh, spirit. It's very difficult. They're going to buff it a little bit with the next patch, but I still feel like it's going to be slow. So these two skills help me out tremendously. Okay, let's continue. Okay, um, here we have the poison enemies are slowed by 8%. I'll explain that a bit later. Uh, this is to be explained later. I think we're done with that. I'm going to go back to that, guys. Okay. So once we're at the ultimate skills, we are going to take Quick Shift. When Shape Shifting skill transforms you into a different form, it deals 15% increased damage. Now, the reason why I, I went with this is because I want it to be a werewolf and a bear at the same time so switching in between both is constantly going to keep it up i'm constantly in between two farms and we're going to go with natural fortitude at shape shifting uh, adds me fortify so basically this this is the reason why we have so much fortify with this build it's ridiculous and upon shape shifting into a werewolf or werebear you gain damage reduction uh, against elites for five seconds uh, this is basically up at all times because we're constantly sh shape shifting between both right uh more into those yeah more into those a little bit later good 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 okay okay and then we're, I'm going to get to those skills after. And then for our ultimate key passive, I go with Bestial Rampage. The reason why is because since I'm going to be in both forms, well, after being in Werewolf form for 2.5 seconds, you get 25% attack speed for 15 seconds. Werebear, you get 30% damage for 15 seconds. This is perfect because I turn into a wolf, right? Keep an eye on the bottom of the bar. And then boom, I got my attack speed. And then I do a Pulverize. Stay in the bear form. Now I got both of them on at the same time. And I just basically the whole gameplay of this is me trying to balance those two skills, right? You can see them right here. They're always refreshing. That is basically the objective here. I want to have as I'm fighting monsters, obviously I could generate more um more uh, spirit, but uh, as you can see here, the point of the, the point of the build is to keep these two buffs up at all times. Now all right, guys, so let's go with the legendary aspects. The most important thing, if you really want to get as much damage in as possible, is right here. Pulverize is now an earth skill. After casting Pulverize, Tectonic Spikes deal blah, 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 extra damage. This is absolutely fantastic for the extra damage, but especially for the earth skills. So the reason why we go with earth skills is because right here we get nature, nature magic skills deal 12% increased damage this is absolutely fantastic because our nature magic is going to be a nerf skill so this gets this helps with pulverize quite a bit uh this is going to heal us with our nature every time we use our nature's magic spell thing so definitely go for that for the extra nature magic this is extra damage if you guys want like i said i'm not done leveling up yet but this is like not a huge difference for us but it's still a nice little difference there we got these points right here crushing earth Earth skills deal 15% increased damage to slow, stun, and mobilized enemies. And while we are fortified above 50% of our max life, our skills do a crap ton more damage. This is fantastic because of this skill here, which gives us extra fortify. So that's why we go with that. So then I also recommend you guys... Oh, by the way, these are all... Everything here is something that you could pick up from the Codex of Power. So if you guys are looking for something, you go into your Codex of Power, show my class only, go into the offensives, and then you can find them here. 
the pulverize now and earth skill everything that i have here is basically on the codex of power that's why it's very it's very easy at the early game to put this together okay so now we're going to be getting all the fortify and all that for our skills so here we're going to have our uh, whenever we fortify our earth skills now gain plus two ranks this is fantastic so every time we we are fortified um we're gonna our our pulverize is gonna get a crap ton of damage right because of this and not in the codex of power but actually with the seasonal leveling let's see here oh i just finished the little part four um with the seasonal leveling uh where is, is it here no i think by doing number two yeah okay by doing chapter two you're gonna get this one pulverize creates a shockwave that travels forward dealing 60 percent of its damage to its target that it hits so i have it right here this is absolutely fantastic this right here actually like takes the build a long way so you put this and then you put uh this and you're going to be doing a lot of damage from, ju just from those two now so those are basically the damage nodes no i lied we actually have one right here uh core skills deal an additional nine percent damage for each active companion we have now we have our two wolves right we have our two ravens because we specced into it and also with the season of malignant we have buh, 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 kills have a seven percent chance of summoning a wolf companion so this is going to give us a, an extra wolf companion i don't know if the plus three wolves eventually goes up i could get a higher number i haven't looked into it but if it can even better uh basically all these extra pets that we're getting is just increasing our core skill damage by quite a bit now let's talk about utility for utility our most important thing is oh and again guys this is all part of the codex power uh this is a fantastic utility for the druid um again just look at the dungeon that you have to do there's basically this lets us restore our primary resource whenever we control an enemy now uh this is one of the reasons why i went with uh claw because claw poisons right and i took the point in neurotoxin neurotoxins so anything that's poisoned is now slowed so our claw generates a tiny bit more um it generates a tiny bit more resource uh generation i know it's only one point but I mean, if I could get it up to four, luckily, hopefully, it'll make a big difference with all the attack speed, I'm sure. So that's that. And the big one, where is the big one? This is the big one. Uh, this is also part of the um, Codex of Power. So damaging enemies with Earth skills now slows them down for... 25% for five seconds. So this, this, the reason why we take this is because this procs our umbral our ring of the umbral this is actually absolutely fantastic this keeps the build going this keeps the build from running out of spirit uh you will run out of spirit even with that uh it's you have to get a little bit into the paragon board um but i mean blizzard is eventually gonna be buffing things soon so that's gonna be great and yeah so that's basically it guys that is the idea of the build anything else here like the armor thing is just these are just obvious things that you can take okay so now we are in the dungeon and let's just showcase how it works a little bit now keep in mind this is not a crazy meta build like i said guys this is just me putting shit together if you guys want to have fun putting things together just go ahead because it's not that difficult and let's see what we do here so now our spear is pretty damn low but we do do our trample blood how we're already full and now we're gonna keep going from there forms don't forget we are trying to keep the two buffs now i got the attack speed buff right there with the final skills there and now we got the damage buff now we're gonna keep going trample boom now we're gonna keep going Just get our spirit up trying yeah see it Basically, the whole point of this is I want to keep the two buffs here up at all times, and it makes a heck of a difference. So let's just go and find an elite. What's fun about this build, oh, there's an elite right here. And he's dead. Oh, friggin' frozen. You know how it is. And that's basically it, guys. Oh, it's a little malignant dude. Let's kill him for the video. And 
are you respawn? Okay. Boom, trample, punch, punch, trample, boom, 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 boom. That's basically the point of the build, guys. I will be, and that's basically the, the end of the video. Uh, I will be experimenting with this build a little bit later. I mean, like I said, this is just a level 1 to 50 build. I am definitely going to change builds after level 50. This is just what I like. This is my go-to thing for, for leveling for now because I, I like the werewolf form for the movement speed. I need to get an extra point of that movement speed, talking about that. And the bear is just pretty cool when you do the slam. So if you guys like this video, like I said, it's just for fun. Have fun and subscribe to the channel and have a good day. Take care.